Oh come on, it was just getting good. Welcome to WatchMojo.com and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 anime that ended too soon. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we'll be looking at the anime that for one reason or another ended up concluding their run way too early for our liking. Whether due to the manga having way more content still on offer, or just ending everything before all the plot points were wrapped up, we demand a continuation for each of these. As you can expect, there's going to be major plot details coming in, so a spoiler alert is now in effect. Number 10, Batum. Talk about right for a sequel. No! This dark and gritty series was essentially battle royale with bombs, with gamers from around the world finding themselves competing in a real life version of a famous video game with some rather bloody results. While its ending was very much a satisfying one, it's clear that Ryota's violent adventures were far from over. I still have one cracker left. That's enough to finish you, you bastard. With the manga winding down towards its conclusion, what better time could there be to bring it back? As we all know, Ryota and Himiko's problems didn't finish on that island. Why did you? Why? <laughs> Number 9, Bobo Bo 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 Bo. It's me! What the heck is the matter with you? Are you serious? Wait, I was only kidding! The one anime that was too weird even for Japanese audiences. Well, specifically Japanese parents who weren't fond of the Afro warrior sense of humor. Hey, hold on a second! Are you trying to tell me that this show isn't your favorite TV show? That is it! Damn it, this show was legitimately funny. Even the dub still found a way to make the jokes work. The manga managed to spawn an entire follow-up series littered with brilliant out there moments, so it's not like there wasn't a decent foundation for the show to use. By spending less money on my design, they had more to spend on my power. Wait, our producer spent money? Alas, we may never know whether Bobobo would ever defeat the Maruhagi Empire, and now we know who to blame. Are you kidding? This is how our show ends? <laughs> Number 8 Daily Lives of High School Boys. Comedy anime tend to do rather well just so long as they have endearing characters, hilarious situations, and a great sense of pace. This trio of high school boys accomplished this in spades, managing to get to the nerve of the jokes while highlighting the stressful highs and lows of school life. That being said, the manga just sort of ended abruptly. Now the fate of our favorite trio will remain forever lost. <laughs> Number 7 Rocker Braves of the Six Flowers. <laughs> Combining the typical fantasy tropes with a gripping whodunit style narrative was a stroke of genius, so what happened? As seven warriors gather in the hopes of defeating the Demon King, they find themselves faced with a potentially deadly new situation. There's only meant to be six of them. As deception and discord run rampant, we find ourselves questioning who among them could be the imposter. <laughs> Then we find out, and that's about it. Just as shit looks like it's about to go down, that we're about to see the six heroes kick ass together, the series ends. Talk about a tease. <laughs> the 
Number six, the devil is a part-timer. Thanks. You can throw it out for all I care. Woohoo! That is brisk! In terms of an outrageous comedy that managed to hit all the right notes, the Lord of the Fries pulled it out without a hitch. I swear, I will be the one who breaks the sales record for black pepper fries! Yeah! The scenario of Satan working at a fast food restaurant already inspired a ton of laughs, but what really made the series shine was its lovable cast. You propose we eat burgers and fries three times a day until you get paid? What is this, supersize me? You plan to eat a high calorie, high cholesterol diet at such a young age? I'm looking forward to the next 10 years, but now I'll have to hope you don't die prematurely of a lifestyle related illness before we get home. I must apologize to my cowardice. I remember you're the one working our time. You have to up constant diligence. You would have thought that a follow up would be inevitable, but wait, hang on, there's not even a second season? But what about Mao and Emmy? Will they ever end up together? Will the devil claim his rightful place as the manager of McRonald's? These questions need to be answered. So, uh, thanks, I guess. Hmm. You are very welcome. Number five, Blood Lad. This one just got shot down before it could live up to any kind of potential. As a laid back young vampire, Stan's made for somewhat of a protagonist given how he finds himself falling for a young human girl who accidentally ends up getting killed and turned into a ghost. <laughs> his sense of responsibility towards her and his own legacy as Dracula's descendant had us all hungry to see where the series would take us next. And then it ended in 11 episodes. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> The manga isn't exactly that long either. You could have at least pushed forward to make one solid, awesome show. Number four, High School of the Dead. Everyone's favorite guilty pleasure earned both ire and admiration for how even during a zombie apocalypse, Edgy conquers all. <laughs> yes! Well, much like the walking dead that now inhabit this world, we were hungry for more meat. More fan service based fight scenes, more of the ladies fighting over the protagonist, more of the gun otaku gradually increasing his arsenal until he decides to nuke the town. <laughs> One for the home team. I'm sorry, kid. I was wrong about you. Yeah, we all know this series is the best kind of sleaze, so why didn't you go all out and end things on a gloriously unrepentant note? Let's end this little road trip. With a f***ing bang. Number three, Bacano. Dallas. What I'd like to hear is how you boys got those very familiar guns, tough guy. The polished swagger and overall slickness of this series made it an instant classic in the mind of so many fans. Old timer, did you know that I'm Firo Prochineso of the well-respected Martello family? Did you? Everyone had a favorite character, who more often than not got a chance to shine as they used their newfound immortality to tear shit up all throughout Prohibition America. So the question stands. Since the light novels are still being published, why would you waste the chance to continue the series? We can start off as friends, but you think you could fall in love with me? Do you need any other reason to keep things going other than an excuse to see more Lad Russo and Claire Stanfield? We think not. Hey you! Don't start getting cute with me! I'm the only one who gets to kill her, understand? Number 2 Berserk God damn you all! We are fully aware that this anime got itself two recent adaptations. Oh but let's be honest here, people. They aren't good. And if anything, they serve as a constant reminder to the glory days of this brutal masterpiece. Ah! Oh! Ah! The original Berserk ended on the mother of all cliffhangers, and while it missed out on some important plot points like the Skull Knight, we can't help but imagine how great future arcs could have been in the original's classic art style. 
You leaving? Don't get yourself killed. Number one, slam dunk. I'm not him. Later series like Kuroko's Basketball may have managed to bring the visual splendor to the sports genre, but it was this little number that got the ball rolling, well, bouncing. Telling the story of the delinquent Sakuragi, he finds himself falling in love with both basketball and the sweet student Haruko. As such, he puts his punk days behind him and becomes the school's standout player, going on to prove people can indeed change once they find a dream to chase. The anime certainly managed to hit a lot of high points, except for the part where it ended right before the Inter High tournament. You know, the best part of the whole damn manga. <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Watch Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.